We're in a climate emergency, so what's the solution? That's the vital question we explore in the Centre for Alternative Technologies' new report, Zero Carbon Britain, Rising to the Climate Emergency. Our research has shown that we can get to net zero greenhouse gas emissions without relying on unproven future technology, and to do so in a way that improves health and well-being, creates meaningful jobs, and creates more space for nature to thrive. In the Zero Carbon Britain scenario, we use three fundamental processes. We power down the amount of energy we use to deliver society's goals. We power up but clean 100% renewable energy, and we rethink food, diets, and land use. So to power down, we rethink built environment, transport, how we move ourselves around, how we get our energy and what we use the energy for and switch to more efficient ways of delivering what we need. And then to power up, Britain's awash with all sorts of incredible renewable energy resources. We can install offshore and onshore wind turbines, solar PV, hydro systems and geothermal systems to capture all the energy we need. And then we look at how we can balance supply and demand to ensure we keep the lights on 100% of the time with 100% clean energy. If we rethink food and diets, we find that we're actually eating too much food, we're eating the wrong mix of foods, and we're actually wasting a third of the food in the process. By switching to more plant-based diets, reducing meat and dairy, we find we can reduce food imports, we can free up land, and we can create an overall better system in the process. So if we power down and power up, we get our emissions to the absolute minimum. But the target's net zero, so we still need to capture that residual carbon so by rethinking land use, we free up land for doubling the forest cover in the UK by revitalising peat bogs. We can actually then capture the remaining carbon and create more space for biodiversity. So achieving net zero in Britain means changing a lot of things, but that's also a huge opportunity. It gives us the chance to change things for the better. If we can reduce fuel poverty, we can create new jobs, we can have better transport systems, warmer, easier to heat houses the chance to change a lot of things at the same time is an enormous opportunity for Britain. Our model offers an end point where UK emissions have reached net zero. What's needed now are zero carbon action plans to help us to get from where we are now to where we need to be as quickly as possible. Local authorities, community groups, central government and industry all have important parts to play. We hope this new report will provide inspiration and information to help people understand what actions will be most effective in getting to net zero and what actions they can take to help create a zero carbon Britain.